Oh, well, that was stressful. <laughs> so I had filmed this entire vlog for the last two weeks. I have tons of footage to go through and I put the memory card in the back of the computer like I always do and it decides not to read it and it decides not to upload it. But the camera still recognizes footage. So for the last couple of hours, my dad and I have been trying to figure out how to get this footage into my computer a completely different way. So now it's like 11.15 at night and now I'm gonna start editing this vlog. So I'm glad we were able to save the footage because I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna have another video this week. So let's get started. <laughs> I just got an alert on my phone. There's a fire across the street. Look, you can see it. There's a fire, it's pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna go over there and try to look. Oh my God, it's... It looks like it's really bad. It looks like it's really bad. You can see that there's an apartment fire. I can't even imagine, like, if you were in an apartment and then a place next door, your apartment next door caught on fire, that means your place is gonna catch on fire. How crazy that would be. And then it could just spread through the entire complex. And that smoke is so dark and thick. Apartments across the street are on fire. What? Look over there. Go out there and look. There is just a strange energy in the air. Maybe it's because of the fire that just happened across the street. There is a full moon. Creature. Saying hi to you. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus here. Creature, don't even think about it. Don't think about it. So I've been debating all day about going across the street and seeing the damage of the fire. I don't know if that's weird, but it's just been bothering me. And I feel like I need to take a look at it. And I feel really bad for everyone that lost their home. And then I found out that four dogs died and one person was injured. I saw the news thing today about it. So I think I'm just gonna go over there really quick and we'll go look at it. Okay, so I believe it should be right here. I don't know which building, okay. Yeah, so you can see it happened right in there. Okay, so there was a couple people outside. There was a lady with her kids and I didn't wanna 
do a whole lot of filming and talking as I'm filming. So it looks like somebody had their barbecue on their back porch and they had it too close to the siding and it shot up through all the apartments is what it looks like that it happened in the back right there and then it traveled through. You can also hear the fire alarm still going off in the building and it looks like part of the units didn't have the fire go into them. So <sighs> that is what's going on over there. Okay, well, I just got back from the grocery store and the liquor store. I'm gonna make Rubens today. So I got corned beef and I'm cooking it right here right now. So it has to boil and that will have such an amazing flavor, corned beef, and it's gonna shred and it's gonna be really great in those, those Reuben sandwiches. And I'm gonna make Navy Grog's the tiki drink. So it's been really hard to get this allspice liqueur, which makes it perfect. Allspice liqueur, when you go to all the tiki bars and Haley Paley's and that, that is what makes that really good kind of smoky, spiciness, I guess. And without that, the drink's not right. So I'm gonna show you how to make those here in a little bit. <laughs> okay, to make these Navy Grogs, you're gonna need some spiced rum. You're gonna put like four shots in it, okay? It's strong. You're gonna put some lemon juice. You're gonna put some of this allspice dram, grapefruit juice, and a little bit of honey. Can you yeah, how are you? He smells me cooking in here and talking to you. I actually do have a Haley Paley's glass. I did not steal it. They do sell them there, but I did steal the menu. I did steal the menu, okay. This is probably the only thing I've ever stolen was a menu. Well, all of a sudden today, it seems like we are in fall. It is October 21st, and it has been pretty warm up until now. It's been raining, as you can see, by the raindrops or the wet pavement out here. I just decided to do something kind of silly, something I don't normally do, because I'm just kind of at home going okay. I don't want to just miss out on everything. I feel like I'm missing out on everything. So, when I was a kid, McDonald's had these Halloween pails, these Happy Meal pails, and one was a ghost, one was a witch, and one was a pumpkin, and everybody I knew used these for trick-or-treating and holding their candy in. Well, McDonald's has them back now after, I don't know, over 10 years, 15 years, 20 years maybe? I don't know. So I decided I'm going to go get a Happy Meal and I always got the ghost when I used to go. When I was a kid, I always got the ghost. I didn't want the ghost. I've always wanted the witch. Okay. So how funny would it be <laughs> that now in my 30s, I go there and I get the witch. <laughs> so I just going to do this for old time's sake. So I'm headed to McDonald's, so we'll see if I get the witch. Okay. Here's McDonald's. It looks like there is a line. Okay. Uh, what can I get you today? Can I have the cheeseburger Happy Meal? Uh, what's the drink for that? Sprite. So my anxiety is raising really high because I think they got my order wrong. And I never come here and I feel like weird, like say anything because the line is so long. So I don't want to like tell them like, sorry, you messed up my order and then they do something to my food. I'll just deal with it. This is part of like having anxiety, by the way, like having social anxiety. 
Like, I don't even want to tell them they messed up my order. Like, my anxiety is so bad that I will just take whatever they give me when I shouldn't have to. But, like, that's part of me having my social anxiety. So, it's like this thing that was supposed to be kind of a fun little thing I did is now becoming, like, a stress. Like, now I'm like, wish I didn't do this if they messed up my order, you know? So, we'll see. I've already been sitting here. Yeah, it's been like over 30 minutes. Thank you. I got the witch. So here it is. I got the witch, but it looks like they're calling it a McGoblin. But doesn't this look like a witch? And it has different faces and all the different sides. And isn't this supposed to be like a witch's hat? See, when I was a kid, this was bigger. This was much bigger and the plastic was thicker and it had a hat. The lid was a hat. And it looks like they're trying to save money by not having the lid and just doing it like this. But it looks like they have these stickers. Let's see. It looks like this is a pretty dry cheeseburger, but okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have a little perfume talk now. I got a new perfume. I've been holding off on buying perfumes and dealing with my addiction just because times have been a little bit funny lately. But I've kept seeing this ad about this Victoria's Secret scent. Now I don't normally buy Victoria's Secret perfume because this is kind of one of those things where I like them for like a little while and then I like don't like them so much anymore. And it's like, do that with our you see him creature we can't do that don't do that with your claws on the the carpet <sighs> okay i'm losing my train of thought now creature anyways uh what was i saying so is victoria's secret perfume i don't normally buy it because i'll like like it for a little while and then i'll find myself like not wanting to wear it anymore like it's not special enough or it doesn't stand out in my mind so when I know I really love a perfume is if I find myself thinking about it like days later and I haven't been wearing it and I go, oh, what was that perfume I was wearing? Oh, what was that? And like a memory comes to me about it in some way, you know, then I know I love it. So this is, I just bought this, so I don't know how I feel exactly about this one, but this one just came out, this Victoria's Secret one. The bottle's really cool, this frosted pink. It's called Tease Sugar Flare. And I wanted it, I wanted it to be a very sugary bubblegum bubble scent. That's what I wanted, because I, I kind of love those sometimes. And I'm already wearing something else, so I don't, I'll give it this one a chance tomorrow. But when you first spray it, it's like a fresh sweetness. And you can tell it's gonna really dry down to something really nice. So we're gonna give this one a try tomorrow, but. I was just really excited to share this with you, so I had to grab the camera and sit down and, and talk about it, because I haven't bought a perfume in a while. But since we're talking about Victoria's Secret, there is a Victoria's Secret perfume that, they can, that you can still buy that I just find myself thinking about. And it is this one. The creature's running around. <laughs> this one I really, really love. There's something about this one that sticks in my mind. I think about it. Like, I will smell like a bunch of my high-end perfumes, and then I'll come back thinking about this one. And this one is Tease Candy Noir. And you can't see through the bottle, which is something I didn't like about it. But I just think about this one. There's like a very like sweet, sophisticated scent. It's, and it stays, it really, really lasts. So I recommend this one from Victoria's Secret. This is, this is actually probably one of my favorite perfumes right now. So if, if you can go get that one. And speaking of Victoria's Secret, one of the things I like to do after the shower is spray this bare vanilla body mist all over my body. And you know, this can blend with any perfume that you're going to wear in the day, but just something about me wearing this and then I like getting it in my hair, like I'll spray it underneath my hair here. 
and then you kind of when you flip your hair you kind of get a whiff of it combined with your per other perfume the ones you're gonna wear so put this one on and then put this one on or put whatever other perfume but I really like this so I kind of wear this all the time so those are my thoughts on Victoria's Secret right now so I'm gonna wear this one for a little while and I will probably talk about it in another video my real thoughts but I was just excited so I had to tell you so okay well I'm glad we got to hang out this week we almost didn't get to okay I almost lost all of the footage and you wouldn't have seen any of this I could have lost everything on there can you imagine and then you probably wouldn't even have believed me about the fire that happened across the street from me and I was a little nervous about filming that okay because it kind of shows where I live and then I thought it might be a safety issue so if by chance you do know where I live please don't like come to my house but if you see me in public come up to me let's take a picture let's talk for a minute I would like that I would actually really like that so please do that but don't scare me okay I have anxiety so you have to be kind of like easy with me <laughs> okay and if you're wondering about the tiger coat, it's Michael Kors and it's really nice and I can't wait to wear it somewhere. <sighs> All right, wild animals. Well, if you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. And remember to always have patience with people because we are all going through something. Okay. What do you think about my new tiger coat? It's exactly my style and it's very soft. Ooh, it's gonna look perfect. The black dress underneath it or something, you know? <laughs>